Coast to coast, country to country, the AFT and its members strive to strengthen communities. By providing assistance in times of crisis, by empowering our members and the communities we serve, by protecting the rights of workers and all citizens, AFT has forged a path of progress. The people who founded this union realized that it was uh, important for the organization to be involved with the community, with other workers in the international arena, uh, taking on issues that were, uh, went far beyond issues that would normally be associated with a teacher organization. For almost a century, the union has been committed to democracy, equality, and social justice, forming alliances with organizations that share those values at home and abroad. At its core, a union is a family, a support system for its members. When disaster strikes a community, many government and private agencies and organizations provide aid and assistance. The AFT is proud to be among them. This role of support is the heart of the union's commitment to communities and to its members. In the immediate aftermath of the devastation of Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, AFT sought out those members who were victims of the storms. We begun a unique kind of journey, and that is to make sure that uh, not only do we return to the Utno building, but that all of our family is back together again. And when I talk to our members, they say we're coming back. So we opened up this headquarters right here as a relief center for teachers, school employees. Word of mouth spread. Shortly thereafter, we had about 2,000 people standing in front of this building. It was a sense of we'll do everything we need to rebuild this community. I broke down and I was crying. I woke up Sunday morning and I knew I was going to be a volunteer. When my fellow union brothers and sisters uh, from across the nation called us and asked what could they do. I thought that was what union is all about. You know, it's, it's helping your brothers and sisters when they need you the most, and they didn't have to do that. On September 11, 2001, the heroism of AFT members was inspiring. Everybody was settled in, and I was about to start sort of greeting them and saying hello, and we heard this enormous just boom outside. While everyone else was evacuating their high school, in the shadow of the burning Twin Towers, Stephanie and Becky were waiting for help. Wheelchair bound, they were unable to follow the others out of the building. Special Ed paraprofessionals Margaret and Julia located the girls quickly, and together they embarked on a terrifying and remarkable journey to safety. There was no way to run, it was just people everywhere screaming. And you're scared, you can't see because the smoke is just smothering you. And all you think is you're gonna die. Stephanie's wheelchair stopped, and also Becky's wheelchair stopped. Then that's when I saw Stephanie collapse. So I said, hop on my back, quick. And she said, oh my gosh, you're for real. I said, yes, hop on my back, I'm gonna carry you, remember? And I bent down and I made it up to the restaurant. Then all that adrenaline that I had, all that strength that I had was going and going. We began hearing from AFT within a day, offering us virtually any assistance that we needed. We provided a $5,000 check to every single family within a week, and those funds came from our international unions. The union family emerged throughout this as the glue that allowed the city to shine, as the backbone with the workers and the spirit, and no one asked them to. But we brought together our staff and our leaders, we charted a new course, and we delivered service and consolation and friendship to people around a devastating incident. AFT's commitment to helping communities deal with crises is not limited by geographic borders. AIDS is not just a compelling moral issue, 
It is not just a humanitarian issue. It is far more than just a health issue. Many American unions are already involved, such as the American Federation of Teachers. Experience shows us that HIV infection is not inevitable, but the effort to combat AIDS needs commitment, education, and resources. Teacher unions in Africa are making that commitment. The AFT has joined them to help with resources and educational support. With AFT's help, African programs are training African teachers to be peer educators and counselors giving teachers the information and tools they need to tear down the walls of silence that have allowed HIV AIDS to spread. AFT and its teacher members across the nation have partnered with communities around the globe to fight the spread of child labor, which victimizes millions of children and shortchanges their future. Our anger turned into activism. We launched a huge letter writing campaign and we began phoning local carpet stores asking if they sold carpets made by children. Several told us it was none of our business. They were wrong. It's everyone's business. In November of 1996, we did it. We raised about $147,000 in a tiny five-room school dedicated to Iqbal Masi and all the working children of the world opened in Pakistan. AFT's work to energize and mobilize its members in support of community goals reaches across a broad spectrum of issues. Because we believe that everybody deserves a fair wage. We're worrying about our benefits. The message that I have today is that uh, layoffs don't work. Mark Joe wants the job. You know, the spotlight today, the spotlight today is on Ohio, but this issue affects everybody throughout this country. Often, AFT's activism and energy takes the form of support for those who champion the issues that are important to its members. Plain and simple, this is a ripoff of the American worker. It's anti-labor, it's anti-family, and it's anti-middle class. We're just talking about propositions right now okay. and the importance of them and that we need to get out and vote tomorrow. We're going to remind the public that we need to get out and vote tomorrow. Though AFT's success in motivating, protecting, and supporting communities is shaped by many factors, at its essence, these achievements are tied to the strength and numbers of AFT's growing membership. AFT now represents more than 1.3 million members in divisions serving a broad spectrum of professional employees. From educators and others in the school community, to higher education professionals, healthcare workers, and public employees. At the AFT, we know that active union members are better informed individuals and more responsible and engaged citizens. And we know that building the strength of the American Federation of Teachers is the key to bolstering communities and fostering social progress. You know, this is why I'm a member of the union and we work together and we make sure that everyone has everything that they need.